Hey everybody, it's Deacon Intern for Wellness, Dietta here, to think about another Sunday in Advent as we prepare for the birth of our Lord. On the second Sunday in Advent, we'll use Amy Jill Devine's book um, and let's explore her second chapter, which is the promise of potential. In this chapter, she talks about the name Mary and how we don't know very much about her. And uh, she talks about Jewish storytelling, uh, Midrash, how that is about filling in the gaps. I really like her quote where she says, when the angel Gabriel appears to Mary and says, the Lord be with you, it's both comforting and ominous, uh, ominous, right? Uh, scary. <laughs> because when an angel comes to an individual to make an announcement, there's both an assurance of divine protection and usually a catch. And so it calls for a response. Yeah, and so she goes on to um, ex expand upon that, that God told Abraham to leave his home and family to go to Canaan. Um, that was, uh, uh, God told Moses to demand that Pharaoh uh, set the Israelite slaves free. God told Jonah to prophesy, and he attempted to run away. But God asked us a lot, and God also gives us the strength to respond. I think that's what I love about the mother of Jesus. She responds, here I am, Lord. Uh, I am the servant, right? I am a servant of you. I'm the servant of the Lord. And I think of that, how we um, sing that this time of year, a lot of us with the Holden evening prayer. Um, but we want to be like Abraham and Moses and Deborah and Miriam and now Mary. We want to, um, it will not be an easy life. Not all who are called respond but we do we want to call uh, we want to be uh, respond well and so what we need is a good night's rest so to create a good night's rest today what we want to think about is how can we prepare for bed and let's think of six things that we could do six things today so or tonight so that we can think about um, how God created the world in six days and and then we he was resting yeah and took a Shabbat so let's do the same the first thing you can do is you can sit on the side of your bed so here's my pretend bed for the space and place where I am today and you can sit on the side of the bed again if you can't reach the floor remember that you can make the floor come up to you and if it's easier to sit in a chair or something like that that's all good too but sit nice and tall and the first thing you want to do is you want to bow your head and stretch out the muscles of the neck so our first moves will be for our neck you can take an ear to a shoulder and if it's easier for you to see if i roll forward i'll do it this way you can take the uh, chin down to the collarbone, right? Looking like if you had a pocket protector here. And that will stretch another part of your neck out. You can roll back with chin to chest. Taking some good breaths as you sit up nice and tall and then stretch the opposite way. If one side of your neck is tighter than the other, you're welcome to start on that side, stretch the other side, and then go back to the tighter side if that's an, uh, something you have time to do. And if you have insomnia or if you're having trouble getting good rest, it might be something you want to consider. All right, we're gonna take the uh, chin to this collarbone, looking down at a, a pocket. Oh, I do have a pocket on this side of my PJs. Again, you'll feel this, this stretch in the muscles of the neck in a different way. And then last of all, come back again with chin to chest. So take care of your neck. Take care of your shoulders. Roll your shoulders up and back and down. And if it's helpful for to you to do that well, you could take um, hands to shoulders and roll, draw circles with your elbows. All right, there really isn't a, a lot of need for you to roll forward because your shoulders are mostly likely forward from all that we do over a steering wheel and over a computer and over a book and over a meal. We're just over, over, over things all the day long. So we really need shoulders to roll up and back and down.
The next thing you want to take care of is you want to start working with your back, all right? And so what I suggest you do is you get up off of your bed and you reach to the bed and walk your hips back and begin to stretch out your back. Now, if that's too low for your body, you can put your hands on the wall, on the back of a taller chair. Um, it doesn't have to be this low, but this is a great option. And you can walk your feet away, walk your feet back. And keep your ears in between your um, arms and stretch the back long. Stretching the back of the legs as well, little bonus. And then come on down, uh, or uh, crawl back in your bed, crawl back in your bed on your back. But because we are um, here and not at my house, uh, we'll do, um, I'll do the moves in the bed on the floor, okay? So the first thing that you can do on the floor is you can work the legs. So we've done neck um, relaxation, shoulder relaxation, back relaxation. So now let's work on legs. So that's one, two, one, two, three, all right, four. All right, we're on the day four of creation or creating an environment for good rest, okay? Creating a body ready for rest. All right, so what you'll do is you're laying in the bed and you will uh, lift a leg up nice and long and tall. And if that doesn't feel good or work for your body, you can throw a bathrobe over the, the foot or a, um, a tie that's not being used or some kind of something and you can hook it around your foot and that can help you stretching out the legs relaxing the legs and we'll do that on both sides remember the magic um, number was three three good deep breaths three is the magic number and see my ankle started rolling there. That whatever your body's calling for in the movement, you go for it. Then we'll take that leg that's up and cross it over with the uh, knee, and then maybe maybe thread the foot, the arm through, and just do a gentle stretch for the hip. This is called a figure four stretch. And you could also turn it around, put your foot on the headboard maybe, and use it that way. So this is day five of creation to start working on our hip. So we'll cross that over with the opposite side. All right, the sixth move is for your back. And so what you can do for um, uh, this, oh no, we already did our back, excuse me, let's do our tummies. So you can take a pillow and you can put it in between your legs or you don't have to, all right? And you can um, roll to the side. Now, um, let's see, the best angle for this might be if I turn a little bit sideways and then you lift your knees up and just roll to one side. The pillow can be between the legs as you reach away and look away and get this. So our tummy is the last thing that we want to work. As we think about the six parts of us, we're relaxing and stretching and breathing with that gentle movement to help us be more ready for a great night's rest. And then after you do one side, you can help yourself up and stretch out the other way. Again, you can take that pillow in between the legs if that feels comfortable to you. And you look away. And then, because you're laying in your bed with those stretches with the legs, the hips, and the stomach, then you're just ready to then stretch out. Oh, if you don't have something in your way, right? And you're ready to relax. All right. It may or may not work for you, but how will you know if you don't give it a try, right? So, six ways to take care of yourself. Sitting on the edge of the bed, stretching your neck, right? You're going to just roll with your shoulders. 
Then you're gonna stretch out your back, reaching towards your bed, walking your feet away, making like you're the, uh, the half, you know, sides of the box there, the right angle. And then you're going to go to the floor, stretch legs, stretch hips, and stretch your tummy. All right. I hope that you have a great night's rest tonight. Thank you so very much for allowing me to come into your homes and your um, offices and to wish you well. As we think about Mary and how she is that potential, that, that promise and that potential, and how all we wanna do is do that same kind of, here I am, Lord, I am your servant, and I've had a good night's rest, so I'm ready to be all that you've created me to be.